Okay, here we've got uh, an albino male African fat tail gecko. We're just going to introduce his girlfriend. And we'll see what happens. She has already laid about, I think it's been about eight eggs so far this season so she's lost a little bit of weight but uh, we do make up for it with feeding her lots of extras and things so if she gets any thinner after another batch of eggs we'll probably just take her out rest her for the season okay there you can see the male starting to vibrate his tail make some like little hissing noises next step is going to be tasting with a tongue a little bit of okay so right now he's actually just biting her but he, he is biting her gently and that's just to make her submissive I don't know if you guys can hear, but they're actually making this little hissing noise. Um, the previous year, we actually got 14 eggs from the female, which is quite a lot. Very good breeding season. I don't think we're going to get that much out of it this time. Okay, so you can see he's pretty gentle with the biting. He's not trying to tear his skin or anything. But uh, with some geckos, especially like your gargoyle geckos, they can take each other's tails off. They cause massive uh, wounds, biting on the face and things like that. So these guys are a little more gentle lovers than some other geckos. Uh, you can see with the male, he's got his little hemipenal bulge there at the back. Uh, with most reptiles, they've got two members, not just one lucky guys and I think that's a backup in case they lose the use of one they've still got the second also when reptiles are mating that they're, they're most vulnerable so they could potentially actually just break apart they might lose lose the one but at least get away and save their lives okay so you can see now the male he's scent marking just trying to show that he's a he's a main stud here <laughs> I don't think, you know, it's going to take a long time before they possibly hook up. So we won't get it all captured, but this just makes quite a nice, interesting little video. What we always want to do is add quite a lot of calcium to the diet of a female because obviously making the egg she's using lots of her calcium. So we dust all sorts of things. If we want to get a little bit more fats and things onto her then we introduce like a nice fat pinky and dust it in calcium. She quite likes them. And then obviously lots of mealworms and cockroaches and things. Cool. Oh, well, they'll probably get busy tonight. Cool. Just nice little interesting video. We have actually had a baby hatch already. Uh, the other egg did go bad, which does often happen with the first batch of eggs of the season. You sometimes get the infertile ones. Let's just have a closer look at this guy. 
very cool geckos these it's got little claws just like a cat they're not very fast moving very slow nocturnal species and then obviously get the name fat tail from this nice thick fat tail he's got here you can store all his reserves in there so these guys can go a long time without food female's tail a little bit thinner and uh, that's because she has been using some of her reserves for breeding but still not not in such bad condition at all